born to be a carver to carve my wooden spoon Another thing that's new for this year is in the spoon chair. Uh, and the idea of that is that we're going to get um, get folks not so much to do a demonstration as just to sit down and carve a spoon at, at full speed, you know, just as we would at home. Basically, if people can book in, so it be instructors and anyone else that's really keen to kind of show themselves at carving a spoon. You don't necessarily have to talk yourself through what you're doing. You just sit there and carve, and it's going to be for an hour, isn't it? Yeah. So, so, you know, so if you normally take that. more than an hour, then that's not a problem. You just wouldn't finish it. But if you would finish the spoon in an hour, then you will finish it. Yeah. Till I get it right. All the trees are quaking, watching what I'm making. I wonder if they will be soon turned into a wooden spoon. So their days are numbered when I get them lumbered. Cut and planed, it's all the same when you quarter sawn and hewn. Cut and planed, it's all the same when you're quarter sawn and hewn. Well, I carve all day and I carve all night till I get it right. I will. I carve all day and I carve all night till I get it right. And you must count your fingers, I think there should be ten. <laughs> Depending if you hold your knife like an axe or like a pen. There's something quite enticing about doing all that slicing. So keep your grip, don't let it slip and it can be your friend. Keep your grip, don't let it slip, and it can be your friend. Well, I carve all day and I carve all night till I get it.